The National Agricultural Research and Extension Institute is aware of the issue and has already taken steps to assist farmers who are shifting crop production inland. This is according to the agency's Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Odo Umnot. Farmers along the Linden Susnake Highway, which runs from the coast into the hilly sand and clay areas, are already being assisted. We know the soils on the highway in some areas is kind of very sandy. You need to, and they cannot use much fertilizer, obviously. So we have started work using materials like charcoal. You know, and we have, we make something called biochar out of coconut shells. I didn't get time to speak on those things. Maybe another time. Um, you're using the coconut waste. And that you can have that material as a soil amendment. That amendment will ensure that um, the soil retains, its mo retains moisture for a longer time. It holds on to nutrients for a longer time. Dr. Omno added that work is ongoing in the intermediate savannas. So once all goes well, will be the next frontier, you know, especially with um, tar especially, uh, targeting corn, soybeans. Um, some, some fruits and, and cassava, as well as cattle. However, he noted that transportation remains a challenge. Going to Ibini now is not so much of an issue. Um, we have systems in place, of course. Um, we can use the Borbish River as well for transport. But I see that as the next um, frontier, especially for large-scale agriculture. We cannot, and it has to be large-scale mechanized agriculture. It can't be small-scale. Because you have to practice good irrigation and so on in those areas. Because currently we are basically um, working on rain-fed rain -fed agriculture. Dr. Omnot to find that the forthcoming Linden to Lethem Roadway will help to drive inland agriculture. The Brazilians are um, talking about using that road for, 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 for exporting their commodities. And that will propel development not only there but along that corridor. The establishment of mega farms and cassava processing factories in the Rupununi water harvesting systems in Toka and Napi, along with rice production in Quarry, and increased technical assistance from the government agencies continue. The Nari had explained that these interventions and more will boost food security and ensure local crop sustainability. Mm -hmm.